Hey hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Today I have actually a low level money making method for you guys. I haven't actually focused on any low level methods in quite a while. Uh, so this one's really good. Now the requirements for it are the Shades of Morton quest and you'll also need Nature Spirit and the Priest in Peril quest done. All of these quests are very quick and low level like you don't really need many requirements to do them. Now as far as cash uh, you should be fine with just one mil although you can do it with less. So what we are going to be doing today is buying items from this general store in Morton. It actually supplies a large amount of swamp paste which you can buy in bulk and since swamp paste stacks in your inventory you don't even need to uh, bank. There's lots of ways to get here. The easiest way is just to do a barrow's teleport and run down. However, I have the Mortania Legs 3, so I'm just going to run out from there. Now, you don't have to take a very efficient route there, just because you're not actually going to be uh, running to a bank at all. However, it is nice to get there a little quicker. So all you need to do is bring your money, and from here, I'm just going to run a little bit up. If you ran from the Barrows, you're going to run a little bit to the west. Now, you need to get to the point in the Shades of Morn quest where you have access to the Serum 208. Now, that's important because if you don't uh, have access to that, um, the shopkeeper will still pretty much be a zombie. And even once you have used the serum on him, he will look a bit like a zombie. However, you just need to talk to him and he should turn back to normal. Now, the easiest way to do this is just to talk to him once and then right click and go to the builder store. Now here, there's going to be a lot of stuff. What you're looking for is a swamp paste because if you look at the value, it's valued at 31 coins from the shop. However, on the Grand Exchange, it's closer to 120. The only problem here is that it goes up in price extremely quickly. So it goes up to 90 after you buy 50, up to 100 once you buy 60 up to 113 once you buy 70. So 70 is kind of the max that you can do. However, if you just want to hop around worlds quickly, I just do the buy 50. All right, we have a timer open here. We're going to do this for about five minutes and see how many swamp paste that we can acquire. All right, let's go. So the main benefit to this method is, of course, that the swamp paste is stackable. However, I'm buying out the planks because they're a pretty good deal as well. And uh, when you're hopping worlds this quickly, there is a high chance that eventually you'll get booted. So you have to do this in a good rhythm. You don't want to do it as quickly as possible because you will get booted from the worlds. If you do happen to get booted, I would recommend just going and banking um, the planks that you acquire and then running back. That will give the servers enough time to reset and let you hop worlds a bit more. So I've hopped worlds about close to 10 times now and I still haven't got booted. There isn't really a exact number of times you can do this. It really comes down to how quickly you're hopping and how much time you give between each world hop. So it seems to be going okay so far. Uh, one thing I'm just going to start doing is once I kind of feel like I'm going to get booted quickly, I'm going to go down to buying 70 per world because it takes a little bit longer and it really just increases your profit. If you're going to get booted out anyway, you might as well buy more per world. However, I wouldn't buy anything past 70 in a world because that uh, we'll end up losing money for you, I think. I don't know why in the sweet hell there is a poll booth here. <laughs> I can't imagine that being a popular spot to vote, but whatever. Okay, and that is about um, five minutes, so let's go have a look. Yeah, uh, yeah, roughly five minutes. So let's see what the profit's looking like in five minutes. So it really comes down to how quickly that you can click, and assuming you don't get booted out of the worlds, which I did just at the end, but I think I could have tweaked it a bit more to not have that happen. So about five minutes, you're making between 65k and 70k. Let's be optimistic here. So a 70 times 12 is about 840k per hour, which is actually very good for an entry level money maker. In about five minutes, I spent 70k. So one mil should be roughly good for one hour exactly. Now last up, I'm just gonna go sell them in the Grand Exchange just to prove that they do sell. So we have a look on G-Tracker. They sell about uh, 6,000 per half an hour. So uh, they sell actually reasonably quickly, although you don't wanna stock up on like 100,000 of them or anything. Okay, so let's see what they sell for on the Grand Exchange. They're going to sell for over 100 for sure. It really comes down to how patient you want to be, but let's try selling for 110. And looks like we insta-sold them for just over 110. If you waited, you could sell them for 120, I'm sure. So when we're impatient, we're going to make about 600k an hour. If you wait for them to sell and put them in it to 125, you'll probably make closer to 8 or 900k. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you in the next one.